Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So in today's video, I'm going to be working with this material. And this is a door jam weather strip. I should have done this a while ago because I got some ants inside the building. But um, I'm going to install this and hopefully keep out bugs and wind. So let's get started. Now if you've been following along, you've seen that my door is far from uh, square. And I think that's because uh, this side over here kind of juts off like that. And so the whole door is just turned. So I've got to find a way to fill these gaps. And that's what we're about to do. I'm filming inside today because there's a thunderstorm out. So to fill that one inch gap on each side of the door, I'm going to be using this. It's just treated wood and um, it'll be put inside here and then this um, weather stripping can be screwed in to this to um, connect with the door. So let's measure the frame here and see what this needs to be cut to. Should be pretty close to 82 if I remember correctly, but that threshold will make a little bit of a difference. So I'm seeing 81 and a half. So let's cut one of these to 81 and a half. Let's see how well this thing fits in here. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to put some caulk on this. Put some, uh, I guess, pre drill some holes and then screw this piece into the frame of the building here. It's raining pretty good out there now. Well, we're outside and you've got a bag over your head. So you may hear uh, the sound of some water falling. So one thing I had just forgotten about was um, this middle lip of our Dutch door. So um, we can't have one solid piece for that. So I'm going to cut this down um, to fit in here and hopefully allow us to, um, to work with this. So let's do that now. I got that piece cut down. So now I want to use some caulk here and get this piece uh, waterproofed on the back. So I'm going to close the door to have a guide. I'm just going to drop a bead of caulk down this thing. Wally would like to be inside right now. I've got that piece cut and one of these cut, so now I just need to get this on the edge here and I want it to um, squish the rubber whenever it closes, so I'm going to get it pretty tight on there. I got these little screws. Okay, I got one piece attached nicely. Not quite as tight down there as at the bottom as I'd like, but um, not too bad. So, I think that's pretty good. So a lot more of those to go to um, finish uh, the rest of the door here, but um, I'm gonna get to it. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet between uh, that spot there. 
I'll have to think about it. I managed to get the weather stripping installed all around the door. Now these spots are still open. I'll have to uh, think about what to do there, but um, I definitely have to put something in here to weatherproof that. So I'll show you how this closes against that weather stripping there. Seems to make a nice tight seal all the way around. Well, that should keep out the draft and most of the bugs, or at least I hope so. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. And I will see you next time. Bye. To screw in the uh, door jam window. Oh my gosh. <laughs> door jam window.